All right, that looks better. I don't think that's lagging. I had it on, like if I turn that off and turn the main monitor on, it struggles. But if I just run it straight from the window, it looks like it's doing pretty good. I think I got everything turned down. Maybe this frame limiter, I need to do that too. I don't know. We'll, we'll mess with that maybe later. Y'all have to let me know. It's always something different. All right, this is Mountain Blade. Uh, Banner Lord, Mountain Blade 2, DOS. I do probably need to mess with the audio a little bit. So you all are not deafened. All right, that looks like that's coming through. All right, so what do I know about this game? Not much. I'm not that good at it. I may have to turn that down to 60. For 500 years, the Cal we'll just have to see it here at the start. Because on other games, I have to turn them down to 59. Them. The strongholds of proud tribes crumbled beneath its engines of war. The engine of war the has started. To the wastes of the south. All was brought beneath the standard of their legions. There. Brutal as the conquest was, the wise agreed that it brought peace. The land, now untroubled by armies, grew. Hey, it's rich, Anakin and Padme. But empires, like men, grow old. They do not. Leaders lose a common cause. Corruption spreads. Old enemies learn the Empire's tricks. Oh, look at that. They're looking like Roman legions. And devise new ones of their own. Until one day, the bonds holding the Empire snap. The Empire's water then broke, giving birth civil, to war. Pitting all against all. I could have wrote a better thing than this. A time of hatred. It's not hatred, it's politics. A time of suffering. But suffering. Also, even in the worst hours, a time of courage and defiance. As new leaders arise from new it's social media and new peoples to turn back the tide. The story isn't meant for being deep, it's just set up for this is the place you're going to fight and, and conquer. Isn't this a technically a prequel to the, f the first game? From the ashes of the old. Quite a nice head you have there on your shoulders. I would like to keep it on my shoulders. <laughs> All right, so we'll mess with the, uh, we could always turn down the, the effects if we need to. All right, what do we got here? They got the Vlandians. 5% more renown from the battles, 15% income while serving as a mercenary. 10% production bonus to villages that are bound to castles. Uh, 20% more. That's late game. 200 years before the first game. See, I, know, I, I thought so. Let's see, Sturgeons recruiting and upgrading infantry troops are 25% cheaper. Armies lose 20% less daily cohesion. 20% more relationship penalty from kingdom decisions. The Empire. 20% less garrison troop wage. That's, that's later on. Being in an army brings 25% more influence. And village hearths increase 20% less. What is a village hearth? Is that like their... What they produce? The Azerai. Caravans is already... I think caravans are bugged right now. I did remember seeing that in the patch notes or something like that. 
Uh, 10% less trade penalty, no speed penalty on desert. That could be cool. Kuzets. These are like the Mongols, right? Recruiting and upgrading mounted troops. Yeah. Our 10% cheaper. 25% production bonus to horse, mule, cow, at sheep and villages. 20% less income tax from towns. Yeah, that's very late game. And the Batanians. 50% less speed penalty. 15% sight range bonus and forest. That's pretty good. Oh, those are both in the forest. Towns owned by Batanian rulers have plus one militia production. 10% slower build rate for town projects. Doesn't seem that bad. Uh, Yankee Gal, it sounds like you need to go to the, uh, the Ye old Doctor. Uh, let's see here. I just want to look at the map. Oh, it's all just kind of garbled up in this one. Um, so Batania is kind of in the middle. I do like the forest like going faster because you can catch bandits early game. That's kind of what I was thinking. I could be in the wrong there. I really don't know what I'm talking about. Um, does anybody in chat have any prefer preferences of what I should go with? There's my other post-it notes. Uh, Yankee Gal, um, I know you probably got an appointment. You could probably go to one of those urgent care facilities for that. Do the good one. Thank you, Sub. Um, I think what I would like is obviously I'm mounted is I want to be good at archery to start with. And then... Um, And then later, I want to have like a, a two-handed weapon, like not not like a sword or something, but like a a pole arm or a spear. I'm a big fan of spears. So, hello, Corvic. How are you doing? Hello there. Oh my God! None of my sounds worked for this. Uh, like I said, I'm very, very, very new to this. Uh, Vlandians for cavalry. Sturgeons do archery. Well, we can always purchase that. I mean, we guess we could start here. It's cheaper to upgrade and do troops, so that would be cool. And then we can always go over and get some uh, stuff. Yeah, but you don't always want all cavalry because... Uh, or maybe you do. I don't know. Let's start with the Sturgeons. And then, uh, oh my God, these are hideous. What do the women look like? This is kind of scary. He's got like a topographical map on his face. Oh, I like the, uh, can we do that with like a female? Is there a penalty playing as a girl? Is it like the first one where, uh, you, um, you were looked down upon? The other one was perfect. Well, that's a manly man. He just needs a... Uh...
Give him the Anakin Skywalker. Let me tell you something, brother. Okay, that's, that's that's the wrong way. Make a shield wall. Box to each Make other. Make a shield wall. Attack. Move forth. Shoulder to shoulder. Hold your position. Move forth. We can make him stroll. That's about good enough. That's fine. All right. Oh, my parents look interesting. Um, let's see. You were born into a family of a boy. Those comparisons. What do we get here? We get a uh, two-handed archery. Mm. Urban traders gives us what tactics and trade. Farming. We'll get athletics and polearm. That's what I was talking about earlier. What is that? Is he just happy to see me? This is one handed and smithing. Oh, I forgot smithing's in this game. Here's bow and scouting. That actually might not be a bad one. And vagabonds. Throwing. He's happy to see my mother. That's where I come from. You forgot smithing was in game, so do the devs. All right, we'll do this. We'll get some uh, bow work here. Oh, look, it's little me. Leadership. Probably need to get some of that. And then tactics, so that's not a bad one. Uh, attention to detail. That's more bow and athletics. This is trade and engineering. Charm and leadership. That could be a good one. Or horses. I think I'll go with charm and leadership here. Like all village children, you also helped out in the fields. You herded the sheep. Worked with the smithy. And repaired projects. Smithy and engineering. Gathered herbs in the wild. That's some uh, scouting and hunted small game. Okay, that's tactics and bow. That may be a good one. Well, this one gives us more charm and more trade. So do we want more bow and tactics, or do we want trade and charm? I think early on I need to go with the bow. And the tactics. Yeah, I noticed that too. Social of four looks really good though. I do like that trade. I feel like... Oh god, look at him now. As a youngster growing up in Kawaradia, war was never too far away because war, war never changes. Okay, and that answers that. We'll go tactics and bow. Um, we trained with the hearth guard. What does hearth mean in this game? Is that like, is that like the home guard? Oh, there's a point in po arms. I do like that. And riding. That's probably a good one to throw, pick up. We've already got enough bow, I think. Road with the scouts. Well, that's both there.
Infantry gives us one-handed and pole arm. This is, uh, throwing's always interest me, but I'm always, like, terrible at it. And what do we got here? Roguery. What is roguery? Experience with the darker side of human life. You can tell when a guard wants a bribe. You know how to intimidate someone and have a good sense of what you can get away with. I think I'll go with this one to get the horseback and the pole arm. Before you set on a life of adventure, your biggest achievement was we defeated an enemy in battle. That gives us some more vigor. That may be a good one just to have that. Saved a village from fun. That's more tactics. Our cunning goes up. It's interesting. This one does smithing and trade, but it gives you intelligence. Hunted a dangerous animal. That's more pole arms and crossbow, but it gives you more control. This one does endurance. And roguery. This one does more social. I feel like the vigor on this one's the one we take. Because I feel like, yeah, because we'll need that if we're going to try to do tournaments early on. Wow, our brother. He, he had as bad of a hair gene as I did. Like many families in Colorado, your life was upended by war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of army after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your father, mother, brother, and your two younger siblings to a new town you'd heard was safer. But you did not make it. Along the way, the inn in which you were staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain, and your two younger siblings seized. But you and your brother survived because... We subdued a raider. That gives us more vigor. Okay. And some endurance. Drove him off with arrow. That'll give me more control. And some more tactics. Endurance. Get some scouting in that. We tricked them. We get some cunning. We're organized, and that gives us more soldiers. Part of me wants to do this one just to get that athletics. We get the vigor. And the one-handed, because we'll need that for tournaments, even though I'm going to do pole arms. And I think we'll get our bow up enough just uh, doing it. Oh, well, the social is nice. Hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm literally... We'll do this one so we get the one-handed. Um, I'm probably going to die in the first battle, so it doesn't matter. What do we want our name to be? Svato. That sounds like a cool name. Gutrag. Who names their kid Gutrag? That's, that's worse than, like, puke blanket. Blog. This is my son, Blog. Ulislav. Rog, Sorgard, Ivolus, Bolvador. I think I'll leave Drake for the last name. Vanyamir, Chimnir, Urgil, Yorig, Pole. My name is Pole. More. Acker, Voldrat, Zuvan, Shemir, and the power of Gre oh. Lek, Radagost, Radagost. Wait, I got a, I got something like bookmarked for this. Um, what is it under here? Let's look up. Real names. Let's go with uh, Anglo Saxon names.
Plegman. Oh, Ulfred. Archibald. O'Tillman of Dalford. Need something that's like just a little different, but kind of catchy. What do y'all put here? Frank. Hen Henry McHenry. I'll name him Bodie McBoatface. Ordrick, Brock Wolf. I saw a good one earlier, but I lost it. Sweatman the Hen Man. I'm taking way too long to name this guy that we're never going to reference for again. There's a good weird name. Oh, Seabert. We'll call him Seabert. Uh, what do we set this difficulty on? Realistic? Enable auto allocation of perks for members in your clan. Yeah, sure. That's their choice. As much as I'd like to do it, but I feel like that's... Oh, so it's challenging and not normal. It's okay. Nobody likes anything I pick. What do I set this all on? I feel like challenging would destroy my soul. Well, if I put this on normal, it should be okay, right? Fine, we'll change the name. We'll go with Spado. The only one I saw that I liked was Osric. But I don't know how it goes with Tom Tom, Steve Slav. We'll combine them. It's going to be Sfato Siebert. Drake. All right, let's go with this. Hey, Gertrude could be a male. Brother. It's been three days now. We've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what will happen when we catch them. How are we going to rescue Fodor and Aliska? Are we up for a fight? Um... We have no time to lose. We could do more if we split up. Skip tutorial. How should we prepare? Well, if they're still pillaging, they may have split up into smaller groups. Hopefully, we won't need to take them all out at once, but it would help if we could hire or persuade some people to join us. Those tracks look fresh, and I've seen some smoke on the horizon. They can't move too quickly if they're still looting and raiding. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't need the tutorial. Let's give our family a name and a banner like the nobles do. A few hours after you leave the training ground, you come across a wounded man lying under a tree. You share your water with him and try to dress his wounds as best as you can. He tells you he is a traveling doctor. To thank you for your help, he hands you a small bronze artifact which he says was once given to him at payment by a warrior who said only it was related to uh, Naretz's folly. He suspects it might be of great value. You resolve to find out more. On the first day of summer, 1084, you have found the artifact, which Tactios mentioned. Um. 
We're obviously going to be Spato, Seabert, Drake. Oh, we could even put Jesus deer on the thing. Are there other deers we could choose? For? Oh, my lord. Oh, it's Jesus deer with like a little deer on his head or something. But that one looks cool. I wish I could make that black in there. I can make it gray. Put some boats on there. Let's go with that. All right. There's us. Svato Siebert. All right. What do we got here? We need to increase our money to 2,000. That's going to take forever. We need to get 20 people. We got to get clan tier one and hire one companion. And then we got to talk to the big people. That's kind of like the first one. I remember this quest from when I played it before. We have green and we have a dragon banner. Let's go over here. They've got a quest. Oh, we need to go through the lands and see how this like plays and see if we need to limit everything. To see if it lags for you all. Y'all have to let me know how this looks when I'm riding through here. In case I need to turn down the frame rate and all that good stuff. Is that a dead body laying on that? I thought there was a way to like bring up like, I know there's a guy here with a quest. Isn't there a way to bring up like, uh, Like where he's at, like you could see the exclamation point in a distance. There you go. Good job, eccentric. Who did it? I hit this woman and kill her. No. How about this pig. So who are you then? I'm Svato Siebert, and who are you? I'm a drunk in Corion. I've lived all my life here. I'm walking in the land as do my kin. A lot of people... Oh, sir, we're having a conversation here. Uh, a lot of the people here in Tevia, the common farmers and craftsmen like me, they speak like me to speak for them. Heard you have a problem. Yeah, well, some people here are a bit short of money these days. They put together a herd of tin hogs to sell in Cyronia. 
But they're poor folks, not really fighters, and they can't afford to hire guards. I can't do this. I don't have anybody else with me. Uh, okay. 750, that's nice. Hold on. Does he got people for sale here that I can hire? No. Yeah, if I were to pick those up, I would not be able to move. All right, do you have troops? You have one guy I can buy. I don't think that's enough. Listen here, Hachu. I can talk the way that I want. Ah, one other guy. Oh, Castor Oil, what do you got here? Hi! Who are you then? <laughs> I had to. Uh, I'm Caster. I lived here all my life. Working the land. Oh, God. I must have hit. I must leave now. We do have problems. The sickness passed through here last month. Praise the heavens. Only a few people died. Bless Jesus, dear. But many were weakened and we couldn't get much work done. Now we need to hire some laborers from nearby settlements to make up the shortfall. But we don't have the tools for them. We're in a bit of a rush. Do you think you can find tools for us? We need one tool. So I've probably got to go here and buy a tool. There's some looters. Ah, there are troops here. There you go. That gives me nine people. Um, can I sell all this stuff to make money? So I can be naked when I go into, like, buildings? Uh, does it matter what tool I take them? Is it a specific one? Or is it something specifically called tools? Ah, never mind. Oh, he's going to give me horses. That's actually not bad. Hey, Mad Martin. Banner manager 22 time it is. I brought you your tool. Hey, all right. All right. Good one quest. We got two horses now. I will definitely be poaching that horse. All right. Um, how do we got people? We should go back to that one place. That's why I wanted to play it. Um, I was kind of interested to see what all's changed. I'm not really good at the combat aspect of it, so you all will probably laugh at me. Um, was it this one that had the quest that, to deliver the stuff? Hey, sorry, I don't know you. Some of the families in this village need to raise a bit of money. They put together a herd of ten sheep to sell in Jalmeres. Watch this place be forever away. 
It's so far away. I wonder if their one thing works. Let me buy this. And then, uh... Butcher them all. And then can I sell it back? I think that was more than I paid for them. I just slaughtered the ones I needed to deliver, didn't I? <laughs> and you all watched me do it. <laughs> you all sat there and watched me do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I slaughtered it right in front of them. I literally went right outside of their village <laughs> and cut up all those animals. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> I'll deliver your animals. Where did you get all this meat at? Um, well, um, hey, they have sheep here too. They never heard of us. We're fine. Oh, they've only got eight. Um, let's see here. Oh, my God. Well, that's a lot of looters. Oh, that was that was funny. This is such a long way away. What was I thinking? And why are there no small looter parties by themselves? Kinchi. There you go. Oh, we got 1700 now. We made money off all that. Oh, Scabby Morinon. What a name. Yeah, what do you want something for me? Who are you? Ask around about me. You'll learn I'm someone you don't want to mess with. Heard you mean you help with the problem. Yes, you can help me. Do you want to make some easy money? I need some tools for my private business. Are you interested? Four tools. Oh, no, wait. I need four pieces of one-handed axes. Is a pickaxe a one-handed axe? Hey, Dax, what's going on? I am. I thought I'd try out the new patch. 
It does say one-handed axe. That's the class. Here you go, Scabby. Oh, yeah, look at that! Look at that! Give me some more meat shields. I think 15's fine for right now. Um... I'm gonna be naked. What's up, sir? Scabby Magnorian can't be trusted. I don't know, he gave me money. They're not even rocking down in here. I'm very sad about this. What's up, lass? Heavens protect us from the Lord, Garyos. Can't be trusted. My love is far, I know not where, perhaps the wind shall tell me. Oh, there's nothing in here. There's no tournament here either. Alright, I guess we should go out and maybe kill some things. Guild, I got a skill point, it says. Oh, I do have one of these. Um, I don't even know what to put it into yet. Maybe pull arm to learn more. What weapons do I have on me? I've got a one-handed axe, and I've got a spear. What do y'all got here? Ten hogs. Can I look on there and see where this is at? I mean, that would help me, but maybe I need to bring up a map. That's a very small map. Alright, Sion's right there. We're at what, J-something? Oh, it's right back where we started. Alright, we'll deliver these. I won't slaughter them this time. So you all can be, uh, okay with that. Do you all think I'm failure? I have two first names, how dare you? Can you camp at night like you used to? Was that a thing? I thought about it, but I forgot that I've not fought with these guys at all.
four, nine, five. We'll catch them, but it's going to be a while. Oh, we got somebody joining us. So I don't get all the glory myself. Unfortunate. What do I got here? I got a one-handed axe, and I got this big old cool spear. They weren't even looking at me. How did they hit me with something? Okay, I'm about to die. I'm gonna run away. Okay. I almost died though. I'm just gonna have to go lay in a city now. I don't think I killed anybody. My dude's like, what did I do? What happened? I didn't kill anybody. Oh. I get 1% of the loot. All right. Yay. Yay. Okay, and now I'm about to die. So let's just go over here and cry. Baby steps. That spear does not have some reach on it that I thought it would. I actually need to look at that. 173. It should be far. I gained a level. Her name is Poison. I've dated a girl like that before. Here's your tin hogs. And this girl's name is Rancid. God, their parents hate them. Betting fraud. No, I don't think I'll get involved in that. Um... I want to keep my horses. Sell this crap. Okay, the length of that one's 240. This one's 173. So I'm not crazy that it's kind of short. Too low to fight in a tournament. That's unfortunate. What's this girl doing here? She's like all into it. Like, dance. What is this dance move? jump off <gasps> oh oh I'm so glad that didn't hurt me well that's what I was gonna do but uh I don't have the health for it I guess I just need to lay low here for a little while Let's see if my health goes up very slowly I'm guessing this means there's a tournament. I already delivered the sheep. That's the first thing I did. <laughs> 